Last year, civil society organizations launched the Enough is Enough campaign in protest of a runway theft of public funds. The most prominent cases were the disappearance of at least 260 billion shillings from the pensions office in the Ministry of Public Service and the pilfering of over 50 billion shillings in the office of the Prime Minister. The activists called for the boycott of businesses owned by and other utilities provided by those implicated in corruption. As 2013 begins, they are laying new strategies to strengthen the anti-corruption fight. One of these is protecting the powers and independence of parliament, now under apparent threat from the executive led by President Yoweri Museveni. Parliament was not spared. We have seen its own harassment, intimidation and arm twisting. But parliament was also an accomplice by allowing itself to be outmaneuvered by the movement caucus. But civil society organizations have inherent weaknesses and on many occasions, they have also been accused of being corrupt. In a recent address, President Museveni also claimed that many civil society organizations are agents of imperialism or fronts for foreign interests. Still, they are accused of just talking and not acting, compared, for instance, to their Kenyan counterparts. The onus is on political leadership to deal with theft in government. That's it. The activists under the Uganda Governance Monitoring Platform were drained from health unions, Anti-Corruption Coalition Uganda, Action Aid Uganda and the National NGO Forum. In the new year, they hope corruption suspects will be handled decisively, unlike 2012 where they say suspects had a free reign. We specifically demand that the president stops shielding all ministers who failed to oversee the way the money was spent under their various dockets in their different ministries. As 2012 closed, the activists launched the Black Monday movement to protest runway corruption. The position of parliament is changed by a meeting of the movement caucus should not be accepted. They are asking President Museveni to finally translate his tough talk against corruption into action, even against those seen as very close to him. This will send a clear signal that the vice will not be tolerated. We continue to commit ourselves to continuing the campaign for the restoration of presidential term limits, to intensify civic education and mobilize citizens across the country to actively work with the police. Zahra Namuli, NBS Television.